the example of how we work, uh, which can all be related to you, that we can all see. So one of the examples is, usually after the game during the game, you want to have some sort of statistics that you can kind of measure. And usually the ones that you go to is the typical shots, stops on target, possession, attacking third entries, the stuff that you can get straight away. But it's a short period of time. But we had a conversation that does actually measure us. Does it measure us as a possession-based team exactly what we want to do? Now, what it does is it lacks context. And we wanted to create context of our data. And how we work it is that we have to go through a process and a timeline to make it work. It took us about, I would say, five months to get it in place, getting it wrong, getting it right, the wide angle feet crashing and not being able to use it. We went, but it wasn't like, yeah, coach, we've got the data, we've got it. We waited, we waited, and we tried to test it. And probably our process wasn't perfect, but we've got to a point now where we think we can use it. But we need the resources. We have someone coding live in our change room with this um, report I'm going to show you now. So what you'll see here is, as we say, I've blanked out quite a lot of stuff because, excuse me, a lot of the stuff is our, our metrics and our way of talking, but this is not, this is not groundbreaking. Uh, this is the game. I'm not going to teach anybody what they don't know. But we want to measure attack and output. So in order to do that, we need to break it down into phases and, and be able to quantify it. And then we looked at ways that we would penetrate. So would it be start, play, central, left, right, and then how we penetrate the box. But that was done together. And a lot of the presentations that we talked about before with the Leicester boys, it's about that integration and using the knowledge of the coaching staff to be able to create. Because without them, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have created that. So an example you can see, the second phase we talked about. So we had, again, Cyprus, we had 54 stable second phase possessions in that game in nine minutes. And then from there, we were able to code ways and ways that can penetrate left, centre and right. And you're probably going to find it so basic. But if you're, I find if you're too specific, I would penetrate on the left hand side because our ten was inside and the turn, not under pressure. You end up going to be coded so much that you can't actually cross-reference it. And then if the coach says, I disagree, then that data set's wrong. But actually, we're using Huddle Sports, so that we do. If, you, if we